also <laughs> might uh, make you a, a little unhappy, but the latest figures released yesterday, uh, one and a half million to two and a half million uh, gallons of oil into the uh, Gulf every day, and a lot of people wonder, why aren't we doing things like this? Um, yeah. Absolutely. This this demo is not new to Nine News viewers. Um, this little segment happens to go places, and, and I was telling you before we went on, it's YouTube, it's everywhere. And I brought it back because people are so mad that they're not using this kind of technology. So let me show you what it is. Then let me at least show you what the problem and why they're not using this piece of it. Um, the problem, of course, is that we've got crude oil on the ocean and uh, on the surface of the water. I can't use crude oil, believe it or not, for me to try to get my hands on crude oil. It's kind of like an act of Congress right really? now. Huh. So I'm using something that chemically is very similar. It's a material that they use as an additive called Marvel Mystery Oil. And okay. from a chemical standpoint, this has the same kind of components that crude oil would have. They're really three different molecule units hooked together called a tri-block polymer. And so that's it. Trying to get this off the surface of the ocean. And that's is just how it works with the ocean, it. right? It's sitting on the it's Sitting on top, there. Right? And so this is a material. Here, hold out your hand. It is a fluffy kind of material. Oh, yeah, it doesn't I really this. stick to your hands. Right, no. So put it in there. And as you put it in there, it literally adsorbs, not absorb, so it doesn't use like a sponge. It adsorbs AD, which means it hooks on the outside. And when it hooks on the outside, it actually hooks onto the pol or onto the oil in a one-to-one -one ratio. So you can imagine how much it would actually take, and that's part of the problem. Right. But if we let it sit there, you can already see that oh, it's starting, starting to solidify. To firm up. Sure Reach enough. out and pick up that one Watch that I started this. right at the very beginning. The guy who invented this, uh, a gentleman by the name of Larry Thompson, says to me on the uh, on the telephone 15 years ago when I learned about this, he says, drink the water, it's safe. I go, I don't even know where you live, buddy, let alone this. <laughs> but I can tell you in my keynotes and my workshops and presentations, I've talked about this for 15 years. And people remember. And people remember our segment, and now they're mad because they want to know why isn't this being used. That took it all. I mean, every drop of it. That's it. I mean, literally every drop. This is, a, people talk about booms. This is a boom. This sock that you see here is filled with this super absorbent polymer and so this is a small version this is supposed to go for a bilge like in a boat and tr to take some of the gas that comes off of it so the oil penetrates here the gasoline it ab absorbs it and then all of a sudden you take it out imagine with 40 million gallons that's sitting out there first of all you'd lay out these huge socks and then you got to pick them back up again and there's and get a the company next that does this right that oh there's many these. many companies uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. this is a material called envirobond and I was on the phone with them yesterday talking to him about this and as of yesterday still never contacted by and this any would of the absor officials. How, how many times its weight would this? Would you it's guess a one-to-one. One. So this will absorb, uh, adsorb, I should say it the right way, two and a half quarts. Oh, my gosh. That's a, oh. that's, and so now do you see what part of the problem sure, is? Sure, there you are. We've right. never even seen anything this big. Mm -hmm. So for no. every kid who writes in and says, but why aren't they using the polymer? You have to give them some sort of sense of assurance to say, I, I think the greatest minds are probably working on this, I would hope anyway, and in small areas I think they can use this kind of polymer, but what do you do with this once you've got it? Oh, nobody's that's right. Where does nobody's that ever go? thought about it. Now, right. what do we, I can't just throw this in the, in the trash can, or a landfill, so I have to right. dispose of this in the proper way. So this is a much bigger issue. What it's really done is it's forced kids and teachers and people that are in my world um, to think about this kind of thing and say, so if we're going to drill what, and something were to happen, what happens next? That's right. But that's it. That's what the real sock looks like. That's and amazing. that's the deal. And so you can imagine well, how many teachers are uh, getting ready sure, to be able to kind of share sure. these things in the classroom. Well, let's hope up they hope they come up with some of these applications. Look at that. It's Although there. the disaster, how about that already? It's absorbed. Isn't that incredible? Right out of the car. That's amazing.